episode on the Truckmaster Garage, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about some pretty neat coolant upgrades that you guys can do for your 01s to 2010 Duramaxes. The reason why I'm doing this is because a customer is redoing the head gaskets on his LOI Duramax. So he went ahead and ordered these parts from my website, which is truckmasterdiesel.com, which I'll leave a link in the description for some of you guys that are interested. Also a discount code to help you guys save some money as well as free shipping. Now what you're looking at here is PPE part number 119000500, and this is the engine coolant thermostat housing bridge. You guys can see I have it powder coated blood red. It looks really nice. I did this actually here in the shop, but if you do purchase this part, you will receive a raw finish and you guys can do whatever color you want. This really dresses the engine bay up. GM has actually discontinued this part. See the biggest problem with these, when you remove them from your truck, you're gonna notice that there's a lot of corrosion that's built up, especially inside of the passages in here. And you really want a free flowing design. You don't wanna to have to worry about that, especially when you're putting your vehicle all back together. The cool thing about this part is the thermostat housing bridge is composed of high strength cast aluminum, that will actually allow for long-term durability. On top of that, this thermostat housing is a direct fitment for your OEM cylinder heads. Now moving on to the coolant bypass tube. This is a really nice construction made of three or four stainless steel. Again, something that will not corrode whatsoever. In the kit included, it will come with your Vidden O-rings as well that you're gonna need once you actually install this part. Now moving on to this part right here, this is actually your coolant return pipe. And this is part number 119-00130, which would actually go to an LOI. And I'll leave the other part numbers in the description below for the 01 to 04, your LB7s, as well as your LBZs and your LMMs. When you receive this, you can actually reuse your third thermostat, which is connected to the hose as well. And you shouldn't have any problems. It will look great, it'll free flow, and again, it's a 304 stainless steel construction. But I've seen a lot of vehicles come in through the shop where these will just be packed full of corrosion, and then it'll block up some of the coolant passages, especially in the heads. It'll throw a lot of that debris right inside of all your internals, and it'll cause blockages, which in return can add additional pressure in your cooling system. Trying to chase down those little gremlins is a nightmare. But once again, guys, if you have your vehicle apart or if you just want to upgrade, these parts are not only going to look nice, but it's going to protect your investment. So I wanted to raise awareness on the new coolant upgrades that you can do to your Duramax. I'm also going to do more reviews on diesel parts to kind of educate you guys if you guys decide to upgrade your diesel truck. But hey, that's it. I appreciate your time as always. We'll see you on the next one. Stay tuned.